Welcome back. You know, a lot of us have looked at a menu at a restaurant and I think, mm, that's a bit much for a sandwich. But local chef John Howie has a pretty interesting response to one customer who complained on Yelp about the prices at Bothell's Beardsley Public House. Uh, th there's actually a part of the review right now on your screen. We're going to read it to you. I used to love this place. I'm sitting here at Beardsley now disgusted with their current price hike. I have one question for the owner. Do you want to alienate your faithful customers? And that comes here two to three times a week. Yeah, she went on to say, congratulations. After today, I will never come back. Your disregard for your community and clients in an effort to make a buck because you are now popular won't fly. I am 100% sure that others will take my stance based on your food and beer items that are overpriced. Chef Howie then took to his blog to respond to her. He basically said, look, there are a lot of business costs associated with owning a restaurant. He broke down some of the numbers, 25 employees on any given day, requiring to pay those employees 11 bucks an hour, not complaining about it, just saying it's that's where we live, uh, plus 25% for payroll taxes, Medicare insurance. I mean, I think there are a lot of costs here that a lot of folks didn't realize existed. We don't even consider it. He goes down to break down a lot of the operation costs for rent and food, all the way down to things like office supplies and dishes. He says, look, at the end of the day, it's not like he's rolling around in money. Le legitimate business owner, employs 90 people, uh, needs to make a profit, but also wants to help the community. So joining us this morning, Chef John Howie himself. Thank you for having me. Thanks uh, for being here. Brave on your part to do this, really, to be so honest. Well, you know, it's. I think it's part of speaking out to the community and making sure that they understand that we as restaurant owners out here, we give a lot, and I'm not alone. Most restaurant, giver, most restaurant owners give a lot. And we need to show people you know, that it does cost to have a business like this. You also made an interesting point in your response, which was, look, like the ingredients that we use, the quality of what we use, that does drive prices up. Tell us a little bit more about that aspect of this. Well, it makes a difference. So if you're using a bunch of frozen products, it's going to cost less to do that. Mm -hmm. Where in our case, we make everything from scratch. And so not only does it cost us for the high quality product like the USDA prime beef, but then we make our buns in-house. There's somebody there getting paid to do that, mm -hmm. where we're not just buying them from a bakery somewhere. Let's talk about the living wage. I mm -hmm. mean, I think some restaurant owners before it passed were worried about it. Some have come out and said they, they were against it. That's not what you seem to be saying here at all. You say we're willing to pay this, it, but people need to know it. It's definitely not what I'm saying. I think there should be a living wage for people, and it's important that we are able to pay it, but it's going to cost to do that. And that's really where the additional cost came from this year that we had to take a price hike this year was that we passed the law and it was overwhelmingly passed in Washington state. And so I think that's great, but there has to be a place to put that. I can't just pay for it myself and, and figure out how to live. <laughs> Did this customer respond to your response and have you heard from other members of the community? We have heard from an amazing amount of members of the community have been very positive on this. As a matter of fact, we had probably six tables in Beardsley just the other night that came in to support us wow. because they read it. But the customer who had made this complaint, she's actually taken down her uh, review. Aww. And didn't respond, but took down yeah. her review. Yeah. So have maybe she, that was her way of saying, you know, okay, I'm all right with it now. Yeah. yeah. Have you heard from other restaurateurs or uh, folks who are in the restaurant industry? I mean, it, you must have heard from them. A lot. Yeah. A lot of people. Yesterday I was walking into John Howie's Steak after I'd been at Beardsley for a while, and there was some restaurateurs out front, and they said, you know, thank you for doing this. It's, it's really shed light on who we are as an industry and why we need to charge what we need to charge. And again, people have choices, and each restaurant has different costs so they represent what they're going to charge on their menu if you're paying more in rent for one place than another you might be less expensive and if that's concerning to a guest then choose where you want to go there's lots of choices but if you're going to go to my restaurant you're going to find stuff that's made from scratch the highest quality stuff that you can serve and you're going to get a great experience because we want to keep our people in house so we pay them well and they do a great job taking care of our guests. I want to take advantage of having you here to get kind of a broader perspective on review sites like Yelp and mm. the way that restaurants interpret them and read them and react to them. I will say, I'm going to step into this woman's shoes for a moment. I will say I have been tempted many a times. It feels good to have an experience somewhere and to go somewhere and tell everyone, hey everyone, this is how it was for me and this is how it is and I'm sure I'm not the only one. I oh, have been not. tempted to do <laughs> <laughs> I've been tempted to do that before. So as, mm. as an owner of several restaurants in the area, what do you make of those reviews? How do you interpret them and how do you normally respond? Well, first of all, we're going to read the review. Mm -hmm. If I believe that it has validity and it's something that we need to fix, we're going to 
apologize, we're going to tell them how we're going to fix it, and we're going to respond. We respond to positive reviews and we respond to negative reviews because we want them to know we're listening. It's our guests. They're the ones who are going to keep us alive. They're the ones who are paying the bill. So we want to make sure we listen to them. Now, if someone, I believe, is unreasonable in something, I may or may not respond. Mm -hmm. But if they're reasonably trying to converse with me, I'm going to talk back and tell them what I think or tell them how we're going to fix it. Mm -hmm. That's I think it's important. What do, you, what do you think the one thing that a customer, maybe this customer or any customer who is like worried about prices, what would you want them to hear from this conversation and what you wrote? Well, uh, clearly that you have a choice. And we may not be that choice because we're going to have to charge what we have to charge. And I think people feel like restaurants, you just go buy the food, you put it on the plate, and there you go. I could do that at home, right? Well, no, you really can't. You'd have, I mean, I listed most of them in my blog, and you can see what the costs are. There's a lot of costs that people don't think about, including marketing and uh, most of which comes, you know, in food and people is our biggest costs. But then there's rent. And there's other things. And there's just a lot of costs. You have, so. You're kind of leading by example, you and several other restaurateurs in the area, by being members of the community, being active members of the community. Why do you think that's so important, other than just being a business owner, to actually mm -hmm. be actively involved? Well, you know, I always wanted to give back when I started my company. And I think, really, the reason I responded to this individual was because they said that you don't really care about your community. Mm -hmm. And that kind of hit me right in the heart, because I was one of the first people to respond when the fires happened in Bothell, bringing stuff for the first responders. The very next Monday, we did an in-house fundraiser for some of the businesses that were going to be devastated. And you know what? It's important for us to give back to our community because we want to live in a great community that does that. And I think you find almost every restaurateur, especially the chefs in the community that own restaurants, they do that. And they do it at a very high level. John Howie, thank you for, for being so public and honest about this. I think it really does help educate customers, restaurateurs, just voters in general about the challenges of the in restaurant industry. We hear the headlines, but yeah. I think hearing from you matters. Yeah. Well, you know, it's going to continue because we've got levels that are going up the next few years. So yeah. you're going to see some price increases. It's got to come somewhere. Well, it's nice to hear from the other side of all these Yelp yeah. reviews that so many of us read. So well, thank you. Thank you so much. We My appreciate pleasure. it.